You know, we have a, a rocket right this here. This is a good example. That's made out of kegs. <laughs> um, this is a customer project. Yeah, so or, this part uh, right here um, would be a flat piece that we'd cut. Um, so we offer a ton of different materials. I mean, we actually built this whole booth um, using our service this oh. year. Hey everyone, I'm here at SEMA and I'm at the Sen Cut Sen booth. So this place, you might have heard of it if you've done uh, any like part prototyping for conversions or race cars or any of your products. But uh, walking around, there's a ton more than, than I even knew. So Jake here is going to take us around and let us know what we have. Jake, thank yep. you. Ah, thanks for having me, man. Um, yeah, so Sen Cut Sen, we're a rapid manufacturer. We can do everything from a prototype run to a full industry run from one part to 10,000 parts. We have a full sales team kind of fit any need. Um, the easiest way to use us is if you have CAD software, right? Okay. So you can just drag and drop that step file directly onto our website or a DXF, and then you can start configuring that part, whether it's a flat sheet metal part that you just need cut or you need bending. So we offer CNC brake, we offer tapping, countersinking, hardware installation. We're offering dimple die services now. Um, different ones to fit different needs and stuff. Amazing. Um, we have no setup costs. So the initial cost, we have a $29 minimum, but no part minimum. So I kind of get you in the door easy. Yeah. Um, I can take you, you over here. some examples of some of these things? Yeah, we also offer uh, finishing services. So okay. anodizing, powder coating, um, zinc plating. We offer nickel plating for the EV community. It's really, really a uh, neat deal. If we come over here, we ended up, um, we developed a new way to use us so it, you don't have to only use CAD. Okay. Um, we have cardboard template reversals now. So we have a design service team that can you know, help you get your parts from that cardboard all the way to a finished part. That's um, really cool. There's a lot of guys that'll uh, mock up battery boxes and cardboard mm -hmm. or wood, something like that. So yeah. they could take that and send it to you guys and yep. then you cut it out. Yeah, yeah. If you go to our services page, do the drop down menu on services, you'll see design services there. You can fill up the forms, send us your cardboard template. We'll actually supply you with the shipping label with your shipping provider of choice, USPS, UPS, or FedEx. Cool. Um, once we get it in, it's a 48 hour turnaround time. We're going to do that reversal. We're going to provide you with that cut file that you can order it in whatever material you want. The other way we can do this, if we come over here, is you can actually send us a napkin sketch with dimensions, and we'll do that reversal for you as well. So as long as everything is defined, it'll move over to a finished part. Um, this is a little bit quicker option. We don't have to do the shipping options um, you know, by sending us the template. Yeah. So um, they, that could be just a picture. Yeah, right? that's just a picture with fully dimension. Scale. Yeah. OK. Yeah. That's sweet. Um, all those services, uh, you're going to be working with an engineer with our design service team. They're going to be able to help you with bending. Um, say you said battery box, right? So you can draw this up. We're going to help you make sure that those flange links are going to come out right on the backside. All of our guys are extremely knowledgeable on bend deduction and allowance um, with regards to the material that you're going to want. And when you get that part file, it's going to be already pre-configured in that material and all the bends and stuff. So you don't even have to worry about that. You can just order one or 10 or however many you want. Okay. So this looks to me like kind of complicated, right? This is probably started out flat. Yep. And then how do you get to, to this? I, if you can see, it's like beveled in interior there. Yeah. So or, this part uh, right here um, would be a flat piece that we'd cut. All the holes would be cut out at the same time. The okay. next operation we would do is we run it through our linear uh, graining process, so which is called deburring on our website. And this is just to remove any of the little fine de um, burrs. This is something you can actually remove if you want, if you don't want that on the service. Okay. The next thing is we're going to do is we're going to end up adding all these dimples. The dimples. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So this is a forming process. What this does is it adds a really really strong backbone, so we can't bend this part anymore. Got it. The next and that's step like is it goes in. Pressing down. Yeah, so it, it's a dimple. smash between an, uh, an upper and a lower die. Wow. And it forms it in. It's a coining process in the forming community. Um, the last thing is that we're going to end up bending this into a U channel on our CNC brakes, and then it's ready to go out the door to you. Sweet. Yep. That's super cool. Um, hardware installation like this, we can press in studs that allow you to have threaded studs on this. Um, you can see that these are flush on the backside, and then this one has powder coating. We offer thread protection on those powder coated parts so you don't have to go chase threads or anything on the secondary. Very cool. That, I can see that being for all sorts of brackets and very clean sort of insulation. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, there is one other way to use us. If we swing around over here to the computer, um, we, we did develop an in-house um, uh, CAD software essentially that uses basic templates. 
since we're all car guys, uh, really at Senka Sen, we kind of know gussets, roll cage tabs, that kind of stuff are gonna be those like kind of basic shapes that we sure. wanna kind of tweak. So if we click on that front, we wanna build a part. You can see here, we have a bunch of predetermined shapes that we can pick from. And then when we look at like a gusset, we can click on this and now we can actually change these dimensions to be whatever we want on the end. So we can make this an eight by four inch gusset and we can uh, move that hole around and all that kind of stuff. We can change that angle. Oh, wow. Um, so we can form that to be a basic shape into what we actually want in the end result. Um, once we just hit create and continue, it's gonna end up pulling it into the app. So now we have that shape that I just made, right? We wanted that hole in the center. I can now go select the material that I want. Say this is a roll cage ta uh, gusset and we're gonna end up having steel. Um, we have a lot of different options of steel. Everything from mild steel, chromoly to AR steel. Wow, uh, That's Just awesome. to fit whatever need. Um, in the mild steel, obviously we have a lot of different thicknesses. We cut up all the way to half inch thick on our mild steel. For a gusset, we'd probably be looking at that 74 to 104. So we select that and then you can start seeing all of your costs break down. So everything from one part all the way to 10,000 parts are gonna be automatically quoted and price discounts starting at two parts. If we hit next, that allows us to go into the next process, which we can choose secondary operations like bending, countersinking, hardware installation, and tapping. Um, and then on the last operation, we can select a lot of our finishing options like powder coating or that nickel plating that I was talking about earlier. And then once you add it to your cart, you can go ahead and order it. Uh, turnaround time is three to five days. Uh, and shipping, we have Reno, Nevada as our home base. We have also Paris, Kentucky that we ship out of. So we got both sides of the country. Sweet, that's awesome. Yeah. What other materials do you have? I see that there's like uh, some maybe carbon fiber stuff over there. Yeah, we can come over here. Um, so we offer a ton of different materials. We have spring steel. Um, we have a lot of different composites like phenolic, G10, carbon fiber. We also offer a lot of plastics like acrylic. We have, I think, 10 different colors, including clear on acrylic. We offer polycarbonate. We do bending on polycarbonate as well. Oh, really? So you can make windscreens or covers and stuff oh, that are cool. clear. Um, a lot of different options there. Yeah, and then we also offer some wood and prototyping materials like chipboard, hardboard. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so what's the craziest thing you guys have, uh, have, have helped someone build? I mean, you know, we have a, a rocket right this here. This is a good that's, example. That's made out of kegs. <laughs> um, this is a customer project. Um, if you guys follow them on uh, YouTube, at a keg rocket. Um, he's doing a really cool rocket. It's actually a legitimate rocket, you know, liquid fueled um, that he's going to shoot off. This is just actually a, like a replica of his design. Sure. Um, we made the SEMA car last year, that Jettison car. Okay. Uh, it was electric with a jet turbine engine in the front and that powered an alternator to run the batteries. Um, that car was 90% sheet metal, so pretty much the only thing that wasn't sheet metal on it was the axles and the wheels. Everything else, the whole entire chassis was uh, sheet metal. That must have been a fun project. Yeah, it was, it was a long year of developing that car, but it, it turned out great. You know, We actually had it here at SEMA. We did the full cruise with it. It drove, operated, everything, yeah. Maybe another cool SEMA car next year? We'll see. Maybe, I mean, we actually built this whole booth um, using our service this oh, year. So every that's single a good component. Point. So this was all developed in-house. You can see the dimple die processes. Yeah. Um, these are ACM panels that we carry. So this is in the composite section. Even this? Yep, okay. so we um, carry this. This is a laminated aluminum um, panels that have powder coating on them. So we come in white double-sided, black double-sided, and brushed aluminum. Um, so you can do direct print onto these or put ACM. They're really, really good for panels. Uh, you can see here we built like a whole closet. This is like one of those old director sets. Yeah. That you can like, so it's like eight different pieces and you can develop it into a table or a kiosk or that full closet back there. That's super fun, man. Right on. Well, thanks for uh, giving me a walk around. Yeah. I appreciate it, Jake. I appreciate it, man. See you later. Yeah, thank you for coming.